Welcome to Spotlight. I'm Adam Navis. And I'm Katie Blake. Spotlight uses a special English method of broadcasting. It is easier for people to understand no matter where in the world they live. In 2010, a janitor was cleaning a bathroom in an airport in England. He saw another man enter a shower room. But when the janitor cleaned the room, there was no water. He then went to empty the waste. He found a single egg that was completely red. He suspected that something was not right. Joshua Hammer told this story in Outside Magazine. The janitor told security. Several minutes later, they found the man who had gone into the shower room. The security guards discovered that he had attached 14 small bird eggs to his body. The man's name was Geoffrey Lendrum. He claimed the eggs were from a duck, a common farm bird. The guards called several experts in illegal animals. They identified the eggs as falcon eggs. A falcon is a wild hunting bird. Lendrum was arrested. It is illegal to steal or trade these eggs, but people still pay a lot of money to buy them. Today's spotlight is on stealing and selling falcon bird eggs. Selling illegal animals makes almost $20 billion a year. Much of it is ivory from elephant or rhino horns. It also includes spiders, lizards, and snakes. But birds are the most common animal traders sell. Falcons are some of the most desired birds. Falcons are the fastest animal on the planet. The peregrine falcon can dive through the air at 380 kilometers per hour. Falcon racing is very popular in the Middle East. For hundreds of years, People have used falcons for hunting, and some still do. But falcon racing is now more popular. Ahmad al Falasi is a falcon trainer in the United Arab Emirates, or UAE. He wakes up early and drives out to the desert before the sun is too hot. He trains many different birds. al Falasi has many different kinds of falcons. Peregrines, deer falcons, sakers, and different combinations. Each falcon is special and loved. In fact, in the capital city of Abu Dhabi, there is a special falcon hospital. This hospital treats over 11,000 birds every year. al Falasi does this hard work because at one of the biggest falcon races, there is $7 million 
in prize money. But some people think falcon racing is not all great. Harrison Jacobs is a writer for Business Insider. He wrote about some of the negative effects of falcon racing. He writes, Falcon traders in Pakistan, Russia, and other places are capturing falcons. They sell the birds to wealthy Arab falconers. They believe these birds are better than birds born by trainers. The Saker falcon is now in danger of disappearing. This is because its home is disappearing. It is because of the illegal capture and trade. Other kinds of falcon are also decreasing in the wild. Even with these negative results, the illegal trade continues. But Jeffrey Lendrum and people like him usually do not trade live birds. Moving live birds is difficult. They are large and can make a lot of noise. But before they come out of their egg, they are small and quiet. This is why Lendrum hid so many falcon eggs against his body. This would keep them secret and warm. The eggs need to stay warm so they could hatch and become birds. Lendrum has been trading wild bird eggs for over 30 years. Getting falcon eggs takes a lot of work and risk. Falcons make their homes on mountains. In Joshua Hammer's article in Outside Magazine, Hammer writes about one time Lendrum collected eggs. The men loaded a rented helicopter with cold weather equipment, power units, lights, cameras, a professional video recorder, GPS devices, climbing equipment, and mobile egg warmers. They acted like they were making a nature film. Paul Mullen used to help Lendrum with these trips. He explained that Lendrum always said he was helping the birds. In some places, birds have to fight for food, mates, and land. Many do not survive a single year. Moving a single bird can help that one bird. But moving too many birds out of their environment can damage the bird population. For example, many falcons live in Pakistan. If a person there needs money, then capturing and selling a bird seems like a good idea. That is, until too many people do it. And then, all the birds are gone. However, many countries in the Middle East are working to fight illegal falcon sales. Many airlines permit falcons to travel in the airplanes. These falcons have their own passports. From 2002 to 2013, the UAE issued 28,000 falcon passports. The passports show that the falcon is there legally. However, there are still people in places 
like the UAE, who are willing to pay a lot of money for a good falcon, even if it did not come into the country legally. And people like Lendrum continue to take part in the illegal stealing and selling of the eggs. In 2015, Lendrum flew to Chile. A hotel worker saw him with egg warmers and ropes and gear for climbing. She did an internet search on his name. When she discovered who he was, she called the police. Lendrum was arrested at the airport. He was trying to leave the country with four rare peregrine falcon eggs. He was on his way to Dubai. Authorities sentenced him to four years in prison. But before he went to prison again, he left the country. He escaped to South Africa. Geoffrey Lendrum says he cares about birds. But it is difficult to believe him when he only cares about birds that earn him money. Mark Jeter used to protect wild animals for the California government. He explained to Outside Magazine. These falcons are worth a lot of money. I always say, if there is a $50,000 bill flying around, someone is going to try to catch it. Have you ever seen a falcon where you live? Tell us what you think. You can leave a comment on our website or email us at radio at radioenglish.net. You can also comment on Facebook at facebook.com slash spotlightradio. The writer of this program was Adam Narvis. The producer was Michio Ozaki. The voices you heard were from the United States and the United Kingdom. All quotes were adapted for this program and voiced by Spotlight. You can listen to this program again and read it on the internet at www.radioenglish.net This program is called Stealing and Selling Falcon Eggs. Visit our website to download our free official app for Android and Apple devices. We hope you can join us again for the next Spotlight program. Goodbye.